This is the housing for my light show power distribution unit. Uh, it's cut made out of acrylic, cut with a laser cutter. Uh, you can see here is the 60 watt AC DC uh, power conversion unit, and uh, power comes out of that and is separated um, using the power bars to uh, a series of uh, barrel connectors and also there is the microcontroller inside of it. Um, those barrel connectors connect to these wires that come uh, then uh, connect over the ceiling and connect to uh, a light strip that goes around the circumference of the room. Uh, let's open this up and take a little bit closer look at it. Okay, so uh, you can see here that the power comes in through this power cable. Uh, there is a rocker switch which controls that power and it um, comes into the input terminals and then there are three positive outputs and three negative outputs. Each of the um, positive voltage uh, terminals is connected to one of these inline um, fuse, inline fuses. There are 20 uh, amp fuses so that if um, there's a power surge those should blow and protect uh, the rest of the project. Um, then those wires go into these uh, power bars. Uh, there are three positive ones and three negative ones and then the wires from those uh, connect into the back of the barrel connectors and then two of the wires go to actually control the microcontroller which is a particle argon. It is a Wi-Fi Bluetooth. Um, it is connected to uh, an external antenna to boost the signal. Uh, these metal strips that are connected to the bottom, the aluminum strips, uh, are what allows the unit to be uh, mounted to the drop ceiling. Um, the, these ends tuck in underneath the edges of the ceiling. Okay, in order to do some testing, uh, I've got this um, cheap multimeter that I got at Home Depot. Uh, you can see that it is uh, currently switched to uh, 10 volt output on the uh, DC setting. Uh, so I should, since this is a, the output from the power adapter is DC uh, and it should be 5 volts, um, this will allow us to uh, see if we are outputting the correct amount of power when we switch it on. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so um, when we switch it on, um, I don't know if you can hear it, there is a buzzing noise that comes from um, right around where the fan is inside uh, the unit. Uh, I haven't opened it yet because that would uh, void the warranty. Um, but you can see that the green LED uh, on the power unit itself comes on um, and it appears to be working. So let us um, test some of these circuits. Okay, so here is um, the V1 output. You can see uh, it's reading right at around uh, just under um, 4 volt um, output. Trying the second one uh, consistent at about 4 volts of output and the third one also about 4 volts output. If I test these on the outputs at the distribution bars, so uh, Here's the first one. 
Uh, you can see that it also gives me about four, about four output from the middle one, and about four output from the third bar, uh, and um, it should be providing 5 volt output, but it is not. <clears throat> so um, I've tried tweaking the um, the knob for adjusting the voltage, but that doesn't seem to have any impact. And I am detecting a slight burning smell at this point. So maybe there are some internal components that are not working uh, as expected.